You guys want to do a little ice fishing? Then let's go. Now, I don't know if you all can see it actually, these flashers are usually weird on GoPros, but I am picking up some fish right down there, about the 10 to 12 foot mark. Got the first hole drilled, Let's get a little pole, see what we can do here. I only got a couple of uh, rods here. Got a St. Croix, I think this one's a uh, medium heavy. St. Croix medium heavy. And I got the Wicked Ice 13 Fish and Stealth. I think this one's like a medium, so we'll probably go with the medium. There's nothing big in here. I mean, there's some bass, but mostly uh, perch and crappie, stuff like that for the winter time. But let's get over here and pull our chair over. I didn't even scoop the hole. I'm so unprepared for my first time out ice fishing, so drop it down there. Definitely got to turn that gain down. That's for sure. There we go. Probably got it. Oh, here comes something right here. Oh, just came out and hammered it. I don't know what it was. Here it comes again. There you go. First time down, guys. Got a perch. <laughs> yeah, literally is. He hit it, and then he must have spun around, and the treble got him. A little weird, but oh, Come back down there, little guy. All right, so we got our first fish small little tiny perch oh yeah i'm using a swedish pimple by the way and i ain't using any spikes or anything with it because i don't have any but since he's down there i know there's more here comes some more i've already got one coming off the bottom after it a small oh, there's a whole mess of them down there oh he hit it he hit it. Here comes another one. And blammers. Got him. <laughs> oh, this one's a little bit better. Let me get my uh, deucer out of there. Oh, we got ourselves a bass. Look at this, guys. Huh? Not the target species here, but I mean, I'll take it. Little bass. We'll get him back in quick. Just want to get a little picture. Bang. And bang. Okay. We'll get this guy back. I knew he wasn't fighting like a perch, but get him back down the hole. All right. So. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna see if we can stay away from the bass. Try to get some perch. Or a big crappie. Oh, come on. Why can't that thing just ever go where I want it to go? All right, let's get back down there. There we go. We're gonna bounce this right up around that five foot mark. And nothing's gonna come after it, so we're gonna go down a little bit further, right around that 10 foot mark. 
or about two feet off the bottom there. Looks like that bass must have went back and told everybody I was here. We're looking at right around 11.2 for the, uh, the depth. And we'll go right down to the bottom. There we go. Oh, came up with a fish already. Here he comes. It's a perch. I think. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, a little perch. Little guy. What's up, little feller? Dang, man. Why you got to swallow that like that? I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to bust out the old... Unless I keep twisting, I might be able to get it out of there. Yeah, I'm gonna bust out the old pliers here. He got that pretty good in his little chopper. Open up. There you go. There we go. He's good. No blood, no harm, no foul. He's swimming again. Alright. I got a feeling this this hole's gonna do pretty good here. This is the first hole I drilled too. Cause my auger only drilled one hole and it decided to die. So good thing we got somebody else coming. I was gonna bring my hand auger too and I didn't. Kinda wish I did, there comes one. Oh, he hit that hard. I think that's a bass. Oh yeah, oh, it's a big old crappie. God dang! Yo, look at this slab, bro. Holy shoot. Yo, that is a slab. Wow. This guy's probably going in a frying pan. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Absolutely. freaking lootly Holy crap, that's a big one. There we go. Yeah. Come here. The size of this thing, guys. Hold on. Look at that thing. That's a nice slab right there. You don't really get them this big in this this lake right here, but that's a tank. That's definitely gonna get eaten. Oh, right on 12. Oh man. 12 and a half. Look at that. 12 and a half or real perchy. Whoa, what was that? That thing hit it like a ton of bricks. Oh, pass. And another bass. Almost looks like that same one we just caught. Man, he hit it hard too. See you later there, buddy. So unprepared. Worked 12 hours last night and wasn't even thinking about going ice fishing, honestly. Just wanted to go home and do a couple of uh, laser engraving things that I do on the side. And uh, I was gonna get take a shower and get some shut eye. My buddy said, hey, wanna go hit the ice? I said, absolutely. It was uh, like negative 20 and 30 degrees here for like a whole, almost like two days, so. He said last time he was out in this little lake, it was only three inches of ice. Right now there's like five or six, so. I know we're good. But we need more crappie. That's what we need. Less bass, more crappie. Oh, here comes something. Got it. Uh, feels, uh small get off get out of the deucer yeah the deucer there we go yeah that's a bluegill 
Aluguel. Not gonna eat a bluegill, I'll let him go. Wrong way. Alright. too bad i don't have my uh spikes but i was able to walk pretty good i mean it's okay. it's it's kind of like the surface isn't completely smooth you know what i mean yeah seems like it like it melted and refroze melted and refroze or whatever oh gotcha yeah because i'm running tip ups so all right yeah man i uh i went all the way down the other end down there where it's shallower um up toward like where that little bolt launch is yeah and uh that's where i did, drove my first one is that you pulling in yeah, I'm, I'm gonna hit that 30 foot hole and fucking jig, but I'm gonna throw some tip ups in first. I, I got, I'm running about six tip ups. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get my shit. I'm gonna head out to the deep spot too. Um, yeah, I just I can't drill no more. I don't know. I charged my batteries. I don't understand why they're fucked or dead, but I need to get that. Um, I need to get the uh, what is it, the Milwaukee Milwaukee Fire? I think it's called. That they're that's what everybody uses because they just fucking they're tanks. And I got, I just got some old ass drills I've had for a couple of years, but usually they work pretty good. I don't know. Oh well. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll meet you in the middle. Okay. Later. All right, stop. Yep. Those right there? Yeah. Yeah, I got the uh, Fraybill Pro. They're like round and they're insulated. Yeah, these are uh, Arctic Fire. They work. I like these ones. They got the double song, they're heavy duty. They got a bigger, a bigger school on it. So I bought them for when I go for bike and shit, the little black ones. Oh yeah, they can handle it. Yeah. This spot sucks. Watch my rod go zing right down the hole. <laughs> like a hundred and ten dollar rod. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you the one I found at the I found it at the dump. It's uh, where I work for Capital Dumpster. I know the dumpster shit. Yeah, these motherfuckers, yeah. look how black they are. Yeah. You gotta get one of these. Yeah, hockey puck ones, right? Yeah. Dude, where do you get these from? Uh, Conroy's? I, I don't I'll go just to take Conroy's. A few. You don't go to Conroy's? I go to Smitty. I go to Smitty's. Oh, you're uh, you're up in Scatico. Oh, or... oh, yeah, you're up that way. The only 20 minutes from me. Wait until you see the one I... They, were, they threw this out at the dump. This one? No shit. Somebody fucking threw that thing away, dude? Yeah, the line's still good. I tried snapping it and nothing. Wow. But I got, I got that one. I got... See, I need to get one of those carrying bags because I'm fucked. I don't want to fuck my shit up. This is the one I had. I was using last year. Yeah, that thing works good too, huh? Yeah, I had this one. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll jig with the Halley. This, the St. Croix one that I got, 
is uh, a medium heavy. I used I was using that on Burden. I got that one there. That's a nice one too. This one I bought at Walmart. There you go. This is my. I got a bunch of them from Walmart. Lucky one, and then I found this. This is my uh, first ice fishing reel ever when I was super like young. Eight. <laughs> you still got it. Is right there in the handle. I oh no shit. I yeah, JD weld it. Yeah, that's all. And I got. Then he got the side pouches and shit. Yeah, that thing's fucking nice. I've that's seen the guys with those. For it. I've seen them with the hard. The hard case is probably what I would grab. Um, just, just because I don't want it to get smashed when I throw shit in. Because I throw shit in without looking. Like, actually, my sled slid all the way to the front of my truck. I reached in, grabbed the handle, and pulled. Yeah. And, of course, my rod had a lean tip up just enough yeah. to get its tip caught up in the fucking rail to the uh, tonneau cover thing. Yeah. It bent my pole. I go, no, please, no. That was that was my real expensive rod, that St. Croix one. Yeah. Yeah, like, you motherfucker. Put them sideways. And if you got wheel wells, usually they don't slide past the wheel wells. Right. Like Turn it sideways. Yeah, I just threw it in there and fucking... Yeah, and then I, my, my brother traded me for my yeah, I had a smaller one, so I get, we traded and I did this. That's nice, dude. And I, and I Do all kinds of cool shit with them. All the way around. Nice. Get on there and you can bungee it down. That's the way to do it, too. Like, I only had that that sled for, like, not even the, the season, and then I went and got that big pullover in, uh, clam one. Yeah. And my wife got me it, I guess, for Christmas. And uh, so I, I kind of pushed this one off to the side, but it's just so much easier. The other thing's heavy as shit. Yeah, you is, know, I, I pretty much put everything I need in here. I was out on Rickards Lake. I set it up. I was sitting there. The wind was whipping, dude. And I'm 225, and I had spikes on. Pushing down, digging in with my heels. It's still blowing me across. So I took my auger yeah. and drilled down into the ice and put my rope around it. And that shit had me going like a like a windsock, dude. I was like, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, it still would have blown here. It was just dumb, dude. It wouldn't stay in one direction. Those you tie that down and you get rope and you tie it from each other. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's the way to do it. Do it out and it, the sides won't blow in. Yeah, that'd be the way to do it. Pushing it out, I'll bring it to your back and push it right back in. I was just like, God damn it, man. It's too fucking windy. So I, that's the day I lost my uh, GoPro down the hole. Oh, shit. So yeah, I drilled the hole and I, and I had the one on my chest and I was going to mount one above my door to angle down on me. And I, ang I got it up there and it was on with a clip. And I went down to do something. I heard, I heard, think. I looked over and it popped off the bar and went right down the hole. The only hole in the whole place. Jeez. Right down it, dude. I go, you motherfucker, dude. 400 bucks. <laughs> right down the bottom of the lake. I was fucking livid, bro. Oh, ah, oh, just dropped it down.